Welcome to the final part of our Plotly crash course. We have done a lot in this course. We have built some charts. We have used some themes. We then started working with graph objects. And now we will dip dive into Plotly's documentation and kind of understand how to navigate the figure reference. If you like what you've seen so far, a good way to support the channel is by leaving a like, a comment, subscribing, let the algorithm know how awesome this channel is. And when you're done with the videos, if you want something more challenging, check out the link to my new course in the description. I teach you how to build a web-based dashboard from scratch that you can adapt to your own projects. So without further delays, let's customize our scatter plot. Remember I showed you the page for the scatter figure? So over here, on the trace types, you go to scatter and you have all the attributes that you can pick for scatter plot. And I want to look for this one, mode. What can we choose here? We have lines, markers, line plus markers, and none. Let's, let's use this one. So you come here and mode equals all that. There's just one thing missing here. So the text that we declare here, we need to add it below. And the way we're going to do that is by using life exp. And here you go. The same problem as we had before. We can change that. Um, for now, let's just take that. And we can take this as well. Actually, let's just do lines. Let's um, let's change the width of the line here. And the way you do that, you have a line. And this one is different. This one needs a dictionary. So you're going to do dict and tab. And you have can change the color as well. I'm going to use let's use a different color. And with let's use 3. Okay. So the color changed. But the width, I think we can make it stronger. Here it is. So that's the way you change the width of the line. So that's how you start using graph objects and you kind of start to know what are the names that you want to change, what are the different things that you can do to your charts. And let's do another one. This time uh, let's, do, let's go really, really crazy and let's do a lot of customization. Um, let's start with... I'm going to use the same data frame. So we're going to do, we're going to start this one by, again, the beginning is always the same. Go figure, fig dot add trace. And let's do go scatter. And this is just like the other one. So country one, the text mode, we've seen these. And we can add another trace. And we added the second trace here. This should be very similar to our first one. And now the first thing that I want to show you is the margins. And as you see, there's a lot of white space over here. And we can change that. We can change the margin of the plotly chart and the way to do it is fig dot update layout let's do well actually let's do it like this so margin equals dict and you have four things to choose from you have a left side and let's make it five. You have the right side, let's make it two. 
Well, actually, let's make it five. And you have the top. Let's make this one 10. And the bottom. Let's make this one five as well. Okay. Uh, do we have everything? One, two, three. Okay. So I just ran the cell again. And you see how much space we just gained by changing the layout, the margin. I think this one is uh, something that you should know and use on most of your charts because there's a lot of white space that um, we don't need that much white space. Let's keep updating the layout and I'm going to do, I want show legend equals false. Okay, no legend. And actually, let me show you. So if I add more to the left side, not enough. If I say 250. So you see, this is the space on the left side. Just to really demonstrate that. Let's switch that to 5 again. Okay, now let's go a bit crazier. Let's change the plot background. Let's make it, I'm going to regret this, but let's make it salmon. I'm just, this is awful. Let's do, let's do this. What colors do we have? I wonder what is this, Misty Rose. But anyways, you can play around with it. This is the part where you can spend a lot of time just trying different colors. Crimson, corn silk. Yeah, okay. You can change the, the plot background. <laughs> Let's do something else. Let's change the axis, the X axis. And for this, you're going to need a dictionary. This is small, so it's okay. Show tick labels. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Labels. False. So I'm going to remove the tick labels. And if you go down, there is no tick labels anymore. And you can do the same for the Y. And you run the cell and no ticks. Let me just remove this color. Um, let me put dark gray here. Okay, it's going to be easier for you to, to see what I'm about to do. And I'm going to update the Y axis with another, with another thing, which is show grid false. So now you don't have um, a grid. And again, you can replicate the same thing for this one. So this is how you can really customize um, your chart in a way that you can't with Plotly Express. And let me show you a few other. Yeah, I think it's nice for you to have a look at what um, you're able to, to do and I think you'll recognize some of the names later on. One last trick that I want to show you is how you can change um, the labels after you add the, the traces. And actually you don't have uh, text for, for this. Um, didn't realize this. Okay. So I added a text there and I'm going to update the traces after they were added. And this is very important. This is what you will use when you create interactive dashboards, um, you're going to have to have some sort of dynamic way to change, to update the chart. And this is how you do it. You update the traces. Update traces. And you just say, 
So the text position now, I want it to be um, top left. And my text template, this one is also nice. This kind of defines the format of the text there. And it's kind of tricky, but you just have to Google the format that you want. And in this case, I want text and I want it 3S. That will make us have three characters on our number, on our text. And um, yeah, this is a better format. And as you see, we just updated the traces. Um, they, they were positioned on the bottom right. And after we added the traces, we can still update them and change the position of the text and the format. If I remove this from here, it will go back to the default. So we went through a lot of charts with Plotly. I mean, you have a lot of options to explore here. Um, I hope that you feel more comfortable exploring the different options for, for your charts. I know when I started, I kept using just Plotly Express, basic stuff. I didn't customize my, my charts that much, uh, but this is a really nice tool and I hope you get more um, experience. And don't forget that you also have um, Plotly resources and this link, if you follow the link, you can, you can see all the charts that you can create they're ready to copy and paste on your notebooks, so you just really have to grab them, copy, and you have it. And then you just have to adapt the, the, the data with the one for your project. So there you go, Plotly Crash Course. I hope that this was useful for you. I think it's a very brief, simple introduction to what you can do with Plotly both the Plotly Express and Plotly Graph Objects. And please don't forget to experiment. Um, make sure to keep this notebook closed and just use the options that we explore here on your first charts. You're going to soon want to do more and that's when you start looking at the resources and trying to build more advanced stuff. All right, there you go. That's the end of our crash course. Hopefully I showed you enough examples for you to feel comfortable exploring new ways to customize your graphs. When you decide you want to explore Plotly further and maybe build a dashboard with the charts that you created, don't forget to look in the description for the link to my other course where I cover things in much more detail. If you want to stay up to date with my new projects, remember to subscribe to the channel and why not leave a comment saying what kind of charts you want me to cover next or Maybe you want me to cover some web scraping. I like that as well. Maybe some cryptocurrencies. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a great day.